We're taking a live look at one World Trade Center lit up in blue tonight in honor of World Diabetes Day. All right, diabetes is a disease that's really come under the spotlight with the rise of a new generation of powerful weight loss drugs. And today, the number of people with diabetes is higher than it's ever been. According to the CDC, one in 10 Americans has diabetes. And of that group, one in five don't know they have the disease. Worldwide, an estimated 8.4 million people have type 1 and 462 million have type 2 diabetes. And while a cure has always been the goal. A new drug approved by the FDA is showing real promise in delaying type 1 diabetes. I sat down with a woman from Long Island who's among the first in the nation to receive the drug that researchers are calling the biggest medical breakthrough since insulin. I would just break down and cry sometimes when I first got diagnosed because I, I didn't even know how to explain it to people. It was so emotional. At 27 years old, Christina Murray was handed down a life changing diagnosis of type 1 diabetes. The condition running in her family, her younger brother diagnosed at just five years old. They said, Christina, you need to take this seriously. It's not a matter of if you're going to get diabetes, it's a matter of when you're going to be diagnosed as type 1. In type 1 diabetes, Diabetes, your pancreas stops producing insulin. It's a hormone that the body needs to get energy from food. And for Christina, that means a struggle to monitor her blood sugar day and night. At first, it was really emotionally draining for me to have to constantly watch. And as a constant reminder, she has an insulin pump on the back of her arm. For me, the, the hardest part was probably having to wear something on my body, something that was so visual. There is no cure for Christina's condition or for the millions of diabetics around the world, but there is hope on the horizon. Christina is one of the first in the nation to receive a disease-modifying therapy called t -Zield. So when we say disease-modifying therapies, we want to stop that disease from progressing. Joshua Veith is a researcher at JDRF, also known as Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. He worked closely to develop t -Zield, the first of its kind drug approved by the FDA to delay the onset of type 1 diabetes. The key is that you want to catch people either before diagnosis or shortly thereafter where they still have functional beta cells, they're still producing insulin. Underlining just how important it is to get screened and catch diabetes early. And as long as we can intervene at that point and stop the immune attack, we can see some sort of sustained delay of disease. A life-changing goal in the world of diabetes to push back the clock. This means that these people don't have to take insulin every day or check their blood sugar multiple times a day, sometimes for years. Um, it, it means that the complications that come with life on insulin, eye disease, heart disease, kidney disease, um, neurological disease, are, are, are delayed. That, that we're giving these people more time in order to, to enjoy life and not have to worry about taking insulin every day or the upcoming possible complications. For Christina, who already has type 1 diabetes, that means extending the amount of time that she's able to produce insulin on her own. It definitely made my body work more on its own, and I could see that straight from the numbers from when I first started it to now. One step closer to a cure in an exciting time of diabetes research. The little machine keeps you alive, and you should be grateful that you're, you have diabetes at a point in time right now where this technology exists. Pretty amazing yeah. work that these researchers are doing and, and can't stress enough to get screened too mm -hmm. because then you can prevent it. Well, the can, numbers we shared at the beginning of that right. are staggering the number yeah, of people who have it. You might be able it. to delay it, so it's yep. pretty revolutionary. That'd be great. Yeah. It's all about quality of life for sure. Mm -hmm.